What is up guys, Jack Frostminer, and before you click out of the video, like some of you I know will, I just want to say, give this a chance. I know this is going to be a great series, um, and if you guys don't like it, I don't have to do it, but I, I, I have strong feelings for this. I played this um, by myself for quite a while, and I really do enjoy it, so I'm going to start a brand new world, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so one thing that I've done to benefit the video quality is I've gone ahead and um, purchased a thing that makes all the builds that I do two times faster. So hopefully that will help out. And as you can see, this little uh, thing uh, goes by faster. So what I just did there was I just got a workbench. So this is basically what is going to help me do everything. And chopping trees and doing tasks like that in the very beginning does take a little while, but once you get uh, more settled, um, it's actually pretty pretty fast and pretty easy. And so they give you some just some basic items. They give you a basket, uh, flint. That's what I just got. Um, they give you a shovel though, which is good. Good. Um, and what I'm getting in the ground, the black stuff in the dirt, that is actually uh, flint. So that's what I've been getting. And this is just a regular pine tree. Um, there's pine cones on there, which act as saplings. And this game is actually pretty sweet. So, um, if you guys saw, I might have put some overlay clips of some of the things that this act this game actually turns out to be. You can make clothes, go on ships, ride donkeys, go into caves, find emeralds, and there's a ton there's a ton of different stuff that, that makes this game pretty expansive. So as you can see, I just got a this is a bear thing, and they attack you once if they go into a tree, and I don't have anything to protect myself, so I don't think I want to get attacked again. But that just made him unhappy. Well, no, he's still happy. And, um, so if you guys have never played this game before, you don't know what it looks like or what to expect, if you click on this, this is your health, happiness, hunger, energy, and environment. Um, so pretty much you want to keep all that up. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, I just got attacked, so obviously my health and happiness is a little bit down. But the, the happiness will eventually go back up, but I have to eat to heal myself. So if I want to eat, I just get an apple. And then I'll usually do the trick. Um, so, now that we have uh, some wood, we can come over to the workbench and make a campfire. Now, this is one of the most basic things, and this helps you make torches and cook food. It also provides light um, before you start building. And I want to get my house built pretty soon, so I want to find a flat area somewhere near the portal, but not too close. And it looks like this is a promising area um, to start off at. So, if you guys didn't see my review of this, uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, there's oceans in this. There's, there's You'll pass the equator twice if you go around the whole world. There's a North Pole and South Pole, like literal poles. And there's the bear up there again. I don't want to attack him. But I'll grab all these pine cones. And yeah, and you can climb on stuff. Like, it's super sweet. You can climb on caves, like you can climb on the top of caves, and you can cue or queek, I don't know what it's, I don't know how to pronounce it still, I know what, how it's spelled, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you can, um, kind of tell him what to do in what order, and this looks like an actual promising spot, and I think what I'll do is explore, ooh, let me get that, and then let me explore over there. So, I think the sound effects and the overall game, it's sort of slow in the beginning, but I think you guys can bear with it. And for the longer, the things that take longer times, I'm probably just going to, um, skip them. Not skip them, I'm going to like, well yeah, like fast forward them in the video. So this area, this area is looking really promising. Ooh, don't break that. There's bears in all these trees, which is actually good, um. Not for cutting them down yet, but let me see what's over here. If this gets flat, I know what I want to do. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the workbench. And there's no bear, oh, the bear's in that tree. Let's cut down this big tree. Because I'm going to flatten this area out. This area right here where the two blocks go up, I'm going to take that down. And I can add some to there. And make a pretty big, pretty, pretty nice house. And the houses are actually, you can actually make them pretty sweet um, for just a 2D kind of world. So this, some people say this is a lot like Terraria. I agree. I've never played Terraria, but I've seen it, and it's got the 2D cave feel. Um, especially in the caves, it feels a lot like uh, what, I was, what I was looking at when I saw Terraria. 
Um, but anyway, you can have different characters and just a ton of stuff. So here's my clay and campfire. We're going to go ahead and place the campfire out once we get back. Uh, excuse me, but we are going to grab all of these and chop these two dirts down. And our friend up there will give us some leather later. He's a... They're called drop bears in this game. Uh, if you guys wanted to know that. So I'll put my crafting... I'll put my campfire right here. And you can actually burn down stuff, so you gotta be careful where you put it. Um, let's go ahead and remove the crafting table. We're gonna bring it on over to our base. And just the movements in this game, they're actually really cool. Um, once I go caving and stuff, it actually looks pretty... It's really appealing. Just to like, just how cool it looks for him, like, running around and stuff. There's the bear in that one. I've only found a couple bears before. One thing I recommend is maybe just, like, making them no fog in the sky. I think that'd be better. Um, but anyway, you can zoom in actually pretty close. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make a tool bench, because the tool bench will help us, um, you know, craft your axes, your machetes, which you can use on leaves and, of course, to attack things, but axes are key first. Axes, um, they do take a little while to make, so I probably won't fast forward this because I have some stuff to talk about. But as you can see, you can make spears, axes, machetes, shovels, but the important thing is a flint axe for now, and then later on we're going to want to get a pickaxe. Um, you know, but to build a house we're going to need the wood, and I can also attack these bears with an axe. Um, it's pretty good at attacking. Whoa, did not mean to do that. And also 14 pine cones, I'll be able to pretty much plant uh, as many uh, trees as I want. Now this here thing, um, these give you thatch or something, I forget what it's called, but you can use it to create uh, clothes. And as you can see, um, it's almost time to sleep. So I want to do one more thing before I sleep. Woodwork bench. So we can create another bench. And as you can see, my energy, all, all other stuff is fully up. I'm very happy. But you'll see my environment start to drop as the sun goes down. Although it's not going to be too critical since I'm next to a campfire. But now that I have this woodwork bench, which is in my basket, which is right here. Uh, there. Now I'll just go sit next to the campfire. If you click on your guy, you can either meditate or sleep at the bottom. We're just going to go to sleep. Time fast forwards. The bear's just chilling up there, lonely. Waiting to drop on me once I chop the tree. And the sky actually looks pretty cool in this game. Um, I usually lose my sleep schedule. As you can see, I'm awake. It's still nighttime, but whatever. So, as you can see, the environment's pretty low because I would like shelter. I'm just sitting out in the dark, in the wilderness. So, now on to creating some shelter. We're going to need a few more trees for this. Oh, crap, and there's the drop bear. Did you see that? He just attacked me. He usually doesn't drop. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Bang! There, so now we have some leather. We actually don't have it yet, but it'll just chill there. It's fine for now. Um, and we can go grab all this stuff. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take down these trees. I don't, I don't need to worry about, um, getting attacked until I go over here. And there's the other guy. They're actually not that dangerous. I think they're one of the only hostile mobs in, in the game right now. Of course, this is the first release ever, so obviously I think they're going to add a lot more. And there's a lot right now, so if you're going to start playing, I'd recommend just go ahead and getting it now. It's free. It's a really fun game. Alright, so 20 wood, that's enough to start a house. We are going to start, um, and we're going to want to take these two. But then, we're going to make it three high, and just over, and that'll be good. And you guys will see how cool the ceiling actually looks. As you can see, it's just popping in behind all the stuff. Um, we gotta go ahead and remove the campfire. Uh, for now. Don't worry. We'll get it back. It's actually a huge house. It's gonna be pretty huge. And there's always room to expand in this game. You can make, uh, like, ladders to make, uh, separate floors. You can do, 
you can do a lot of stuff. So it's actually a really cool game. That's a pretty huge... Wow, I'm having trouble zooming. It's a pretty huge house for now. Um, another thing, the woodwork bench that I really need to do is made a, make a chest. Um, chests, of course, hold more items than your average basket. And they're actually... Um, kind of cool looking too. So it's always cool, good to have chests and this is one of the first things you want to make. Um, starting off, they're, uh, they're actually really helpful. Um, and, and you can also put um, baskets in every single uh, spot in your inventory. So I think that's it for now guys. I've played quite a bit. I want to thank you all for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode if you guys like it. Peace guys. See ya.